Hi, I'm Robert. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube video. I'm a very handy person. I've been fixing things as far back as I can remember since I was nine years old. I fixed stuff like sheetrock walls, small appliances, computers, and the list goes on and on. I even have some formal training in carpentry and computer repair. So I hope you find this information useful. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get free TV. For a couple of years, I just uh, wasn't in a position or didn't want to pay a cable bill. So I just decided to use my HD TV and pull in free air channels. And this is how you do it. First, you take your TV and plug it into a power source. I'm just getting set up here, so I'm just showing you a demonstration. The TV's plugged into electrical outlet. Now I'm going to take my remote or you can go to the TV and turn the TV on so you can see that it has no reception and no channels coming into it. It's powering up and there you see it. Nothing but ant races and it says Air 7. So if you're my age, you remember the old TV antennas. We used to call them rabbit ears. Those actually work and will pull in HD TV. Here, I have a non-powered static antenna that I'm going to use to demonstrate pulling in this free TV. So I take the cord from that. I go to the back of my set and I plug it in to the antenna input on the back of the TV. So here's a setup on the back of the TV. And I'm fortunate on mine, I have two inputs. I have an air antenna input and a cable input. I'm going to go ahead and plug my cord into the air antenna input. Now, I have the antenna plugged into the air antenna input. Okay, depending on your location, if you're on a hill or in the valley or behind tall buildings, in the line of sight of your broadcast, uh stations uh, th this can be done I believe up to 20 30 miles from the tower and sometimes as many as 50 and 70 miles from the tower if you don't have a lot of mountains in your uh, way broadcast signals travel real far but if you're on the wrong side of a building or something you may not pull in all the uh, stations but you can get more than one antenna to hook them up at one location, I was behind a couple of tall buildings, so I actually hooked up an external antenna that I only paid five bucks for. So, if you need a stronger signal, you can get a powered antenna or one that's labeled HD, but your regular cheap five, ten dollars antennas should work fine, especially if you're in a good location in rain. Now that I have the antenna hooked up, I bring up my menu, I arrow down to channel. I go to auto programming, the antenna is already set to air, I choose the auto programming for air, and I hit start. Now the TV is actually using the antenna to search for the local channels. I'm going to go ahead and pause the uh, video, not to drag it out anymore, and as soon as it gets close to 100% done, I'll restart. Okay, it just hit 100%, and as you can see, a crystal clear picture has appeared on the TV. And it says it pulled in 41 local channels. That's a lot of free TV. So I'm going to exit the menu, and I'm going to arrow through the channels that I have. That looks like Judge Mathis there. So, let me arrow through channels. The exchange involves... Let's see. I got primary channels and sub-channels. His instructions were to... And as you can see, there is clear, if not clearer, than cable. That's CBS there. Starting tomorrow. That's ABC there. Well, thank you. Fix 
that's NBC. So I got all my primary channels and a lot of sub channels absolutely free. You don't have to pay a bill on it. Now, I've had Uverse, I've had Dish Network, I've had uh, Xfinity, Comcast. Let me tell you something. When it comes to watching the local HD, you can't get a better picture with none of these paid services. So, the only service that had as clear as picture as local TV antenna had was my HD through uh, Dish Network. The satellite will bring in very clear HD, but these other cable company options, the picture is just not as clear as local antenna. I say that to say this. Also, I want you to know that when you're watching HD programming and it tells you that it's in 5.1 HD sound, most of the time, your cable companies, your your U-verse companies, they do not deliver the HD sound. So you're actually missing out on the sound. When I purchased my first HD TV, I was waiting for them to come hook up my satellite. I hooked up an air antenna, and there was a um, NBA game on. I had the TV mounted on the wall. I had the TV in between two closet doors. I came in the house one day, I turned on the TV, I was watching the NBA playoff game, and as I was watching, I could hear whispering in things that I never heard before while watching TV. I, I, I promise you, I'm not exaggerating, I actually thought someone was hiding in my closet. So I turned the TV down a little bit, I crept up on the closet, I jerked the closet door open, and there was no one there. I realized that that's the first time that I actually heard HD sound through my TV. So, later on, I decided to leave my rabbit ears antennas connected, even though I had cable. And when I really wanted to enjoy a sporting event, I would turn from my cable to my uh, air antenna so I can see a better picture. You can see the grass on golf uh, broadcast better. You can hear fans and things on the basketball court better than you ever have. Like right now, I can switch between this local channel and the cable TV channel. So, you can see the quality of that. When I switch back, I'm going to put it on the same channel so you can see the quality of the air antenna in comparison. You may be able to pick it up if you're watching HD broadcasting. Look at that picture on my local air antenna. Now I'm going to switch over to the cable of the same broadcast. The cable actually looks fuzzy to me compared to the air antenna. So you actually get a better picture and a better sound when watching through your air antenna. It's incredible. It looks as good as your TV does at the store. Here's another option that people don't realize. You can get an HDMI cord that will plug into the back of your TV and hook it up to your smartphone, your mini HDMI connector for your smartphone, you could plug your smartphone into your TV and watch whatever you could bring up on your smartphone on your HD TV. So, I could take this little cord that I paid about eight bucks for and I could plug it into my TV and watch Netflix, watch other TV programs, other sporting events that I could watch on my phone. So I don't really have to have cable in order to watch programming, especially if you got a smartphone. Another incredible option to help you save money off your cable bill or TV entertainment bill, I should say, 
is to get a 25 foot VGA cable. Now, if your TV is like mine, and when I purchased my TVs, I made sure they had this option, is I got a VGA cable, and you may have an uh, HD output from yours with a audio option connected to it. Now, I can hook this cord up to my computer, hook the other end up, to my TV and actually watch whatever I can bring up on my computer on my TV. So I can bring up Netflix, watch it straight from my computer. I can bring up YouTube or anything I get on my computer. I can use my TV as a monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and hook that up and demonstrate that for you. Because for a couple years, I had high speed internet and free TV and I paid my little seven dollars and ninety cent netflix subscription and we had all the entertainment that we wanted and needed so on the back of my laptop i go ahead and plug my cable in it's best and safest if you do this with the uh computer off now i'm gonna hook the other end up to the tv now on the back of my tv you can see the vga connection and the input for the audio over there or if your computer has an HDMI output, you can just use the HDMI connection. Okay, now do I have my monitor cable hooked up with the audio? Now, when you start your computer, it should find that extra monitor. But if not, you can actually go to your monitor settings and make sure that it finds the other monitor settings I'm going to extend my desktop and I'm going to hit change the resolution so that I believe it matches I'm going to hit apply and ok now when I change my source of my TV it should actually bring up my computer as an option. See, now I have a PC option on there. So I bring up a browser. I can drag a browser over there. If you, you can use clone option or you can use extend option. If you use extend option, you have to drag a browser over to the TV. Now that I have a browser over there, I can play YouTube channels or do just about anything on my TV. So, there you have it. Make sure I'm not muted on my video. If you're looking for it, thank you very much for watching. Well, so I can actually uh, watch my YouTube over there. I can watch my Netflix over there. I can do anything I want over on that TV screen. So there you have it, the different options for getting free or very inexpensive TV, especially if you have high-speed internet. So, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them. I believe every TV has an antenna input, but not all of them have a computer input for a VGA as an extended monitor. So you can go ahead and post your questions. I'll be glad to answer. Thanks again for watching the video. I hope you found the information useful and it helped you solve whatever problem you're working on. If you did, please like it, share it with your social media friends, and please subscribe to my channel so that you get notification of future videos that I make. You can go to my website, robertspinner.com. You can also leave comments here and questions, and I'll answer them as soon as I can.